Hello, my name's Luke Hebbs and I'm from RLI UK. Welcome to my first video demonstration of Trustier's Rapport, showing you how it combats spyware on your machine. In this first video demonstration, I will show you that Rapport blocks screen capture on protected websites. We will be looking at the Zamana Screen Logger test tool specifically. A couple of things I should mention first. I'm using XP Service Pack 3 and Internet Explorer 8 here, but Rapport will work in all the major browsers and other operating systems as well. Also, more importantly, I should explain that as Rapport blocks screen capture, I can't record this video on the machine that has Rapport installed, so I'm cheating. As you can see, I'm using Windows Remote Assistance to send the display to a remote machine, which is performing the screen capture. This will enable me to show you what the user sees on screen. So, let's start by looking at the Zamana screen logger then. We'll just start up the screen logger. I'll move it down to the corner so we've got a bit more space there. And I'll start it. You should see immediately that the desktop appears in the screen uh, in the screen logger. So we're capturing the, sc the screen straight away. This is actually live, so anything I do on the screen now will appear there. So let's start up the browser. You can see that appearing in the screen logger as I actually perform that. Hopefully, Google will come up pretty quickly here. The screen logger itself actually slows the machine down slightly. Uh, which is why it's taking a little bit longer for things to come up. So we can see that we uh, already the screen logger is showing the Google page in there. Now we'll go to a protected website, uh, one that's protected by Rapport. At the moment, Rapport is not installed on this machine. I just want to show you the difference. So if we go to HSBC, for instance, HSBC Internet Banking there, and we'll open up the um, personal internet banking We'll open that in a new tab for the moment. And you should see in the screen capture tool all of this is coming up. So there's the HSBC um, site and again it's in the screen capture tool. Now I don't know if you can read this very well but it says here welcome input internet banking user ID e.g. IB12345678890. So we'll type in exactly that. Okay and then log on. You should be able to see that um, that is actually coming up in the screen capture tool as well. So the screen capture tool has now captured my user ID. And again, the user ID appears on the page there, which is captured in the screen capture tool. So now anybody with a screen capture tool on my uh, machine would know my user ID and which bank I bank with. Now if I enter a date of birth, I'm just going to make up a date of birth here. So let's say it's the 12th of the 3rd, 64 and my security number, let's say the first, second and fourth digits are one, two and four. Now, admittedly, the screen capture tool is not gonna help us very much here because these are actually masked. We'll see that, uh, these, the um, key logger in a later video. However, as I say, the spyware has actually seen our user ID and the bank that we actually bank with. Okay, so let's close that down for a minute and again you should see that the screen logger clears itself down I'm going to stop the screen logger just for a minute we'll leave it up there but I'm going to install rapport now so hopefully this shouldn't take too long but you'll see uh, that we'll install rapport it's a fairly simple download and install and then it should block the screen capture on the protected websites. So uh, we should still be able to just use the standard options. We should still be able to screen capture the desktop and Google and other websites like that. But what we shouldn't be able to do is screen capture HSBC anymore because they are um, a client of of report of Trustier. So this is just installing. It will have to install and then it will open up a web browser and actually register um, with Rapport. And that should be finished. It now just has to log on and actually register. test the installation. 
and you should see at the top here now in the browser uh, we have um, a little trust ear uh, symbol saying that this is actually um, protected now on the activation site. So you can see that if I open the console here you should be able to see um, trust ear there, this is version uh, 1003.5 okay and we're just using all the standard uh, settings on here and there are 55 uh, trusted partner websites at the moment HSBC being one of them so let's close that down and let's start up the screen logger again now so we'll do exactly the same thing as we did before we'll open up Internet Explorer 8 which should bring up Google again you can see that the uh, screen logger is actually recording all of this as it as it comes up again we have to bear in mind that this does slow things down a bit the, the actual screen logger slows the machine down slightly but Google should come up there and we should see that Trust Ear is now running uh, yeah there's Google finally we should see that Trust Ear is running but it's grey which means that although Trust Ear is running uh, it isn't actually protecting this website that's because um, Google obviously aren't uh, a trusted partner they're not, they're not a, a customer of Trust Ear but we can protect this website if we want. That's not what we're uh, what we're trying to do at the moment. Okay, so you can see that we're still capturing this, even though rapport is installed. Okay, let's go back to HSBC again then now. So we go back to HSBC. Now I'm going to open this up in a new tab because you'll you'll see that in a minute um, that it is only the rapport is only going to block the HSBC. Um, website. So at the moment you can see that we're still capturing all the screen events. If I now switch to the Internet Banking tab though, you should see that now, although the user can see the HSBC website, you should be able to see that the screen logger can't. The screen logger is still running. If you look at the buttons at the bottom, uh, it is still actually running. Uh, so again, I'm going to type in the same um, Internet banking user ID as before. So I'm going to type in IB1234567890 and I'm going to log on. Okay, Rapport is going to come up with a warning, uh, a, a little helpful dialogue saying uh, do I want Rapport to start monitoring this user ID? Um, I could say yes here just to make sure that I don't submit it to any other sites. So just try and stop phishing attacks. Hopefully that will come up in a minute with the next logon page. There we are. So it's being a bit being a bit slow, but you can still see that the uh, Zamana screen logger is still showing the, the original Google page, which is back here. So if I switch back to the Google page, you should see that the um, screen logger is still running. Because if I click on the Google symbol there and bring it back to the Google home page, you can see that the screen logger is still um, viewing that. But again, if I switch back to HSBC, it freezes and it's no longer capturing the screen. But if I close that down, again you'll see that the screen capture tool there's a slight delay um, because Rapport actually protects the browser beyond the the screen switching okay but again we're now back to um, being able to capture everything on the screen